our fight against drugs. Prostitutions are always part of our peace and order programs in our administration. Uh, and uh, we keep on uh, asking our uh, constituents to help us on this matter. That's why our character city has a continuing program and this is values orientation uh, development, character development and we involve the adults, the teenagers so that uh, we establish the values in our own selves that uh, drugs is a menace, a killer of our future, and even our life. The same with prostitution. If we are able to discipline our uh, uh, children at home, I am sure they will not be involved in drugs, they will not be involved in prostitution. They will not be involved even in any other illegal activities. Uh, also, our fight against uh, drugs has to be complemented by implementation. The records of our Baguio City Police Office covering 2013 up to last year, 2015, shows that we have 69 uh, cases of violations of the Anti-Illegal Drugs Act, Republic Act 9165. I was one of the principal sponsors of this law, together with the then Congressman Peg Sobiri, who is running for senator now. And uh, out of these uh, 69 cases, there are 27 of these cases which were filed in court and the, the suspects had been arrested. 17 of these cases were for record purposes, meaning the arrested minors were turned over to their parents by the arresting officers and incidents were just recorded in the police blotter for future reference. 14 cases were referred to other agencies like the DSWD, the City Anti-Illegal Drugs Special Operating Team, and the Silungan Center. The arrested minors were subject to counseling and eventually turned over to their parents or guardians. Five cases were turned over to the PDEA. Three were filed in court, but suspects are still at large. And there are two cases which are still under investigation. That shows to us that uh, uh, our uh, Baguio City Police is continuing its uh, uh, fight against illegal drugs. Uh, we have decreased the mode moderately or barangays which are influenced uh, uh, by drugs. Before, it was 36. Now, we have no more seriously influenced barangays in the city of Baguio, but we have 32 moderately affected barangays in our city out of 128. And uh, uh, we will assure everybody that we will continue to really fight uh, drugs, including that of prostitution. So let us continue to partner together to fight these uh, 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 drugs and prostitutions and other crimes in our city of Baguio. Just this morning, at about 1.52, I received the text message that there were two uh, persons who were arrested uh, near uh, Peborgos Barangays in the bypass operation of uh, Siabu. So we'll continue to uh, see what we can do to really 
fight the drugs in our city of Baguio. Also as a part of our program to address our fight against uh, uh, drugs, we will uh, continue to pursue our partnership with uh, the PDEA and other national line agencies for the possible construction of a rehab center in our city of Baguio. And we had recommended that area in Balinban, Irisan, Baguio City, as the place where we can uh, construct the seed facilities so that those that can be helped by rehabilitating them who are also victims of drugs, we can bring them to the seed center and including those also uh, victims of prostitution who like to help themselves will continue to uh, include them in our values orientation seminars and workshop being conducted by our character city uh, committees including that of our office of the city social welfare development so that hopefully uh, no one will be uh, a victim of this uh, menace.